What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, man, we're back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go and press that like button for your boy. Go and press the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And also, turn the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I do have some tweets from Mike Wayne about 2K23. Now, these tweets have been built up over the past few days. Now, let's really get into it. Now, as you can see in the background, what you're saying right now, these are the Michael Jordan challenges, which will be in NBA 2K23 next gen. I'm not sure they, if they're going to be in current gen, but I do know they are going to be in next gen. Now, it's 15 of these challenges. They brought them back from 2K11. I ain't played 2K11. Now, I kind of played it, but not really for real, for real. But I did not touch the Jordan challenges at all. So, you know, this is a good experience that they brought it back for people that actually played it and want to experience the iconic moments again. Now, me, I'm going to be excited to play this. Now, when you play these challenges, you probably earn VC, like clothes, and probably some other stuff. We'll find out later when the game come out. I mean, the game got less than a month to come out. So, I mean, right now the graphics and everything look too good. I'm not going to lie to you, but it all depends on the gameplay. We got to see how the community handles the gameplay with what they have now as you can see right here it's the gameplay the visuals they have the ever replicated scoreboard and everything for this they have everything for the jordan they went all in on the jordan challenges now hopefully they went all in on the game like they did these challenges i mean these challenges look like they're gonna be lit i'm not even gonna lie to you these challenges look like they're gonna be lit like that shot right there that whole scene right there that scene looks crazy now, as you can see, somebody was asking about the um, adrenaline boost, like if you use it when the um, shot clock goes down. So let's say you lose the ball and like how your adrenaline boost works. Like you lose the ball, you get it right back where your adrenaline boost come right back. And Mike Wayne actually responded to that tweet. And he also said when you use a defensive boost, your steal and block ratings drop. Now, I like that because it stops people from spamming because a lot of people can't play defense if you can't play defense it'll show i promise you it'll show everybody can try to score but everybody can't play defense someone in this tweet said can you use your boost at full speed even if your main stamina bar is drained for instance in the lonzo clip that people seen like this one you can see how his stamina is running out at the bottom of his feet like you see hold on watch this watch this you see this right here, you want to know if you can use one of your boosts and when you move at the same speed as if you had stamina. Now, Mike Wing, he did respond to this tweet. Now, me, I don't think you should be able to. They might say you can't, but we got to see how it works for real, for real. Because, you know, 2 can say one thing and then they might do a whole nother thing. Now, basically what he was saying was if you out of stamina and you still have your bars, if you have the stamina, your ratings will go down. But if you still got some of your bars, you can still get the moves off. But it'll be slower than usual than if you would have had your stamina. Now, me, I think I like that. I like that concept to be honest, because I mean it's more realistic. If you have the stamina, you're not gonna be as quick as you are if you did have stamina. Now he did make another tweet. Somebody else asked, basically, like every possession, does that mean you get your boost back on defense or not, or do they like reset? I think they reset every time because every time like you get the ball on offense and defense, I think it does reset, but I'm not really sure. We'll have to see when the game comes out, but I'm pretty sure every time you get the ball on offense, they reset, and if you got defensive bars on defense, they reset too. Now, Mike Wayne did ask the community about the ball handle. Now, these are the requirements. You need 92 ball handle for Curry and Tracy's and 90 for like Dame Lillard and others. Now me, I hope this is good, but I hope they don't have to be five seven or like five ten to get those. Cause I don't like that concept. I just don't. Now these are the dunk requirements. Now he did raise it. He did raise it so everybody won't get the quick drops off one. If you want to go back and look at it, you can. I mean, it's really on you. He got the tweet for it. I'm not gonna lie to you. But he did raise requirements for it, and he did raise the drops off one. The requirement for it is an 80 driving dunk and a 60 vertical. If you was watching my video and you want to make a build like that, my Kobe Bryant video, 
if you want to go check it out it is on my channel i was dunking on people you know i had my vertical up and i also had my driving dunk up so my bill could get contact dunk because that's just me and that's just how i play and that's just how i get down the next year if they make the bill balance i won't be able to get them but hey i ain't gonna be tripping about that now he does say your boost will be completely refit on offense or defense every time you do change possession so my theory was correct so yeah every time you get the ball on defense from the other team your defensive balls will reset every time you get the ball on offense from the other team your offensive balls will reset i mean yeah that's like basically common sense though for real for real but yeah let's see what else they was talking about in these tweets i mean he made a lot of tweets like he was really Answer a question. Y'all know Mike Brand going to tweet and spree every, like, I want to say, like, month before the game comes out every year. And so somebody asked Mark, Hop Steps going to be useful or OP again in 2K23? Now, me personally, in 2K20, I hated Hop Steps. Hop Steps to me was just like in 2K22 when they stun you. I don't know what it is about that stunning animation, but they gotta take that out of basket. They gotta take that out of 2K, period. There is no way in the world I should be getting stunned off of a move. Like, why am I getting stunned and wobbling back? I'm a defender. Why do I need a badge and I'm getting stunned, bro? Nobody gets stunned in the NBA. You can't find clips, you can find some clips of players getting stunned, but you can't just find people just dribbling for 20 seconds in the NBA and they just automatically get stunned, they can't move. And guess what? Now the other team scores on them because a game stunned them. Like, what, bro? That's not even realistic basketball. But, I mean, they got to fix it. Now, he did say hops up and yours are much more useful in 2K23. I hope they're useful but not overpowered. I'm going to say this again. I hope they are useful but not overpowered because if they are overpowered, people are going to abuse it. And if they abuse it, 2K is not going to patch it, just like they didn't patch it in 20. It was in the game the whole time. That's why you're seeing two-way slashing playmakers doing whatever they wanted. And playmaker and Glassman is doing whatever they wanted. Now, he did make a tweet about the badges. He said when you complete the badges into a core slot, they won't be counting towards your badge points. Now, somebody did make an image of, like, the similarity of what the 2k23 bad system might look like i mean i'm okay with the bad system the way it look i i like it personally because you can't just throw everything on gold 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 silver gold gold silver like if you use i mean if you was playing 2k22 next gen people was always using a lot of gold badges everybody had a lot of gold badges and a few silvers now you see this is how it would go you would have four golds four silvers and eight bronze badges and then you'll get your core badge i guess your core badge would be like your main takeover i guess so like i guess your core badge would probably be like lockdown i mean lockdown shot creating um let's see lock lockdown shot creating slashing post scoring whatever you want your core badge to be i think that's what it would be like that but whoever made that graphic, they did a good job on trying to explain it or trying to break it down from the concept from 2K. Now, we'll see how it really is when we get our game, I mean, get our hands on the game, which will probably be in, like, three weeks. I mean, but people in, like, New Zealand, they're going to get it. Like, Tassino, he going to probably get the game early. And a few other people going to probably get the game early. Now, somebody did ask Mike Wayne to give defense a chance this year. They never give it a chance. It was good in this 2K, but they ruined it. They ruined it. I mean, they ruined defense. People could not move. No 5 7 midges wasn't going nowhere. They ruined defense in this game, and I hope they don't ruin it next year because a game ain't nothing without defense. Like, come on now. It's a basketball game. You got offense, you got defense. Everybody can score, everybody can't play defense. Even if you make a defender, you can still tell who can't play defense. Now, Mike Wayne did say, a lot of people say the game is favored for defense, but don't really believe in all that because they going to patch it. Hopefully they don't. But yeah, man, that's really it for the news, man. Stay updated with my channel. It's been your boy, Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Don't forget to sub up if you are new to my channel, man. Please sub up. We are 85 right now, and I'm out. Peace.